What up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to the next question, we have to divide x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus 6x plus 7 by x squared plus 4 using long division. Then we have to write the division statement. Okay, so this is going to be our um, divisor. So let's actually do this here. x squared plus 4. We're going to divide it into this quartic function, x to the 4 minus 5x cubed plus 6x plus 7. Now notice with this divisor, there's no term that has an x. So we have to put a placeholder in there. So we got to put x squared plus 0x plus 4. And then here, all of the terms are present. All of the coefficients are present, so no placeholders are needed. Actually, no, they're not. Sorry. The x squared is missing. So we've got to put a placeholder for x squared. Notice that it goes from x cubed to x. So this would be 6x. This would be plus 7. Right, so we put a placeholder for the divisor and we put a placeholder for the dividend. That's the first thing to take note of. And now we can do the long division. So how many times does x squared go into x to the 4? Well, x squared times, so x squared times x squared is x to the 4. x squared times 0x would give us 0x cubed. x squared times 4 gives us 4x squared. And now we can subtract everything x to the 4 minus x to the 4, that's 0, negative 5x cubed minus 0x cubed, that's negative 5x cubed. 0x squared minus 4x squared gives us negative 4x squared. And let's bring this 6x down. How many times does x squared go into negative 5x squared? Negative uh, 5x times. So then multiplying all the terms in the divisor, we have negative 5x cubed negative 5x times 0x gives us 0x squared, and then uh, negative 5x times 4 gives us negative 20x. So then when we subtract this, the negative 5x cubes cancel out. Negative 4x squared um, minus 0x squared would give us negative 4x squared. And then 6x minus negative 20x is the same thing as 6x plus 20x, which would give us 26x. And let's bring this 7 down. So how many times does x squared go into negative 4x squared? Negative 4 times. And then negative 4 multiplied by all the terms in the divisor. We got negative 4x squared, 0x minus 16. Subtracting everything, we end up getting uh, the negative 4x squares. Those will net out to 0. 26x minus 0x gives us 26x. And then 7 minus negative 16 is the same thing as 7 plus 16, which is plus 23. And we are done because x squared can't go into 26x. This is a lower degree than the divisor. So this here is our remainder. And then this here is our quotient. So we are done with the long division. And then finally, to finish the question off, division statement in general, the division statement is the dividend equals the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. So taking the dividend, the divisor, and then the quotient, the remainder that we found with the long division, this ends up being the division statement. The dividend equals the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder.